Hey everybody, September 8th, look what just showed up today. Some of these, uh, I unloaded two, the floor and the other, uh, some of the other components about 10 days ago and I uh, was told, expect them to come any day now. I'm just happy they're here. So they got the first ring up and they're starting to assemble the roof sections. Which are these over here. But have the vents on them. There's a section, it's kind of pie shape. They'll go up toward the pivot so they assemble the roof at this level. You know, they'll put secure the edge here and then they've got a centerpiece, my grain spreader back over there, that cone on the other side of that hydraulic jack that goes in the center. I mean the lid over there, top of the spreader. So that um, and then in here so they've got six hydraulic jacks, five. They'll spread them out around and then as they each get get each rung in they'll use it lift them up. It's pretty cool. And we'll take out this walkway or whatever it is uh, out through the manhole door, the man door. I'm, I'm really happy they're here. That's what I told them. Um, and um, a little behind. I was told it would be May 1st and here it is September 8th, but um, again, I'm just happy they're here. It's kind of cool to see how these go in. So they, uh, these all just get bolted. I wonder how they get bolted. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Maybe it sits on here against the slip. I'm never going to buy one. I'll put it that way. So I'm looking into the sun. 36 foot diameter. Five ring, six ring, I don't know, 22,000 bushels is what, 34 foot to the top, the peak, and 22 foot to the eaves. Probably more than three vents. Maybe they're over here. It's kind of a long rambling video. My software on my computer, my computer's 12 years old, so the software doesn't let me edit videos. Yeah, here are the vents, the rest of the vents. So I've got eight. I think I got 11 vents. The idea is I'm going to try to, I've been told, and I think this is going to work since I don't have to turn the bin over. I'll dry the bin, I'll dry the grain in the bin by putting a lot of air on it over a relatively long period of time. Um, and that, that's why there's so many vents. And then the fan's appropriately sized. So there's a false floor in these, about 10 or 11 inches up is the, um, false floor and the fan blows it. It's a giant plenum underneath that. So the concrete and then 10 inches up, all those flooring slats will be going across here. And then under the floor there's an auger that goes to the side and then we'll go up and then trucks unload it there. And of course it's loaded using that uh, grain spreader, the auger, which I just bought an auger today. It's in uh, corner of South Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa, 300 miles away. Um, I told them to put two new tires on it because uh, it's going to have to have a long ride. Bainter hydraulic jack, 7,500 pound lift capacity. So it's a souk up bin. I don't know what else to say. Wander around. Apparently, you don't want to get these uh, corrugated curve sections wet, so they've got it covered. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, quarter inch. Like I said, I'm just happy they're here. Um, and there's the, uh, the man door on the sidewall to get in and out. And uh, these pieces over here are the standoffs. 
So these sit on a concrete vertical like this, and they're like every 18 inches. And then there's perforations in the floor. The air comes up through these tiny little holes. I think they're 80 thousandths of an inch. I can dry the grain. Potentially kerns in there, but pretty much going to be uh, wheat, corn, and beans. Here's my uh, grain spreader. A little motor in there. Grain comes in the top. There's a little whirly gig to make sure it's um, spread evenly. Oh, and then I get stairs, spiral stairs. They're going to go up around the side. So I can get to the roof without climbing up a ladder. When you position the auger up there, you need to get up there. And then there's a section, straight sections of the ladder here. Go up the incline on the flat on the roof panel to get you to the center. There's a guardrail on that too. So I'm I'm a little shocked this thing showed up. You know, I get a, a phone call from the uh, the guy the day before. Oh, they're coming tomorrow. Okay. I've been hearing it for a while. And he always says it with a smile on his face. You can't be angry at the guy, but you just kind of wonder, like, well, really? How's that work? My beans are out here, along with my uh, multi-species cover crop. Let's see how they're doing. There's beans in here. Just a little bit of, I think that's chimson weed, but I know there's lamb's quarter. Oh, that's lamb's quarter. That's lamb's quarter. And uh, I've got the grain cleaner here. I'll make another video on that. I've got to go over that. So the idea is the uh, soybeans are all going to go from the combine into the grain truck, augered into a grain cleaner, into one of those seed tenders over there gravity boxes out of there into the main auger that takes it up into the bin. It's all going to happen uh, in about six weeks. So stay tuned. I'll make more videos. This is the end of day one. So it'll take about a week to put it up. Thanks for watching. Bye.